together, cashed them in, by 7 o'clock, 7.30 he made it down to Pan Am. So all day, you know, can you imagine living like that? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Yeah. Young guy, basically on his own, he's 18 years old, unemployed, hasn't finished school, good kid, just got out of jail, he was in jail for seven days, he got into some trouble in the street. So here's a guy that... No, those are, that's a perfect right. individual for this place. Yeah. All he needed story. was a little direction, so we got involved with him. We bought him a bus van so we could get to and fro, and now he's um, coming. Gave him his membership back. Oh. So you just need to volunteer down here, and that's how you can earn your membership here. So he's here every day, he's punctual, he's yeah. responsible. Perfect guy for a pen. We've got the best facilities and I think they need the best people to bring them in. Jump on the weights, then back in the box in here, do your road work. We run the stairs, we have the elliptical, yeah. um, we have the ergometer over there, the Concept 2. So it's a great resource for the youth and then when we're not using it, we bring our yeah. overflow over here. All of this was bought. Is that right? Yeah, all of this was bought. And we have a second floor next door. Yeah. I don't know if you spotted no, that, but no. there's a whole weight gym up there. Yeah. All of that was gifted to us. This is where the kids will come to train. Yeah. That's a, a required component of their residence here. Yeah. And then they live here, and that's what's on the next the three floors. And we're also going to look after the kids that live in our gym but don't qualify in here. Maybe we don't have enough room where they yeah. aren't so much need, but they don't have proper nutrition. They come over here and eat yeah. as well. So we'll feed the kids that live here, as well as, and when I say kids, these are oh, yeah, yeah. Young 18 adults. to, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're not kid kids, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. They, those are the, the young guys that get cut loose from child and family services. Yeah. And where do you go? They're not ready, really. Yeah. They're not uh, self-sustained, they don't have families. At 18, young men, yeah. and young, that, young and men. And, and yeah. the lure of going into a gang is oh. bringing them. Yeah, them. yeah. It's like so family for them. That's we a, think this, we're hitting a nice, a great demographic in need. Yeah. Uh, all the other organizations that deal with the younger men have endorsed what we're doing because they yeah. see the need, and, but they, they're not um, mandated to work with them. We're working with the young kids with you know, this great need there as well. Semi-private rooms. Yeah. So it's not private, but we want them to like live with each other. <laughs> what they're used to is being segregated. You're in detention home, that's it. You're shut down, locked down. Yeah. Here they're forced to live with each other. My idea was complete norm, no walls. Wow. Which is what I used to go to the yeah. training camp. Yeah. We'd all have to live together and work together. They went as a team and yeah. trained as a team. It's a little different, but we felt after considering the social their background, the social and yeah. they need some level of privacy and yeah. they maybe will have some real complexes about sleeping with yeah, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. everyone else. So we decided to go a little more private. It's still open. We can yeah. hear them and know what's going on. Good, bright. Accommodations. This front area here is just the general area and common area where they'll, uh, if they don't want to go downstairs, they can eat them up here, yeah. sit down and read or listen to music or whatever they want. They've got some nice bright windows here. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh yeah. And we're just sort of getting to the painting stage. We're all ready to roll pretty well. Yeah. And you figure it in November, right? November is what we're hoping for and what we're really just hung right now for lack of money. So we're about 80% through all our capital work, but we have another $350,000 worth of furnishings, appliances, and the like to purchase. And so we're looking to raise that money now. We have um, possibilities to the provincial and federal government and municipal city, but we are really striving to raise some corporate money. 
we have support for sponsorship <laughs> programming. It's really just um, uh, roughly a thousand dollars a month per young man that lives here, so twelve thousand a year um, is what we're asking our corporate sponsors to consider. They can go in entirely on their own or partner up with other companies towards anting up this twelve thousand dollars per year, and that all goes towards their living costs, so it's food, accommodations, all our overheads here will be covered off with that level of corporate 